Oh, it's like a reunion. Well, we were sort of saying when we were sort of reminiscing about the late 80s that we all kind of got into the music business around that time. And, you know, it was obviously very exciting for you back then because 87 would be the year. Was that when Kids in America happened for you? Well, Kids happened in 81 and 87, 88 was around that time that UK video was made because I was on the Michael Jackson tour. So would you say you were... And then the 86, I think, was when I'd had the number one with Hanging On. Would you say you were happier back then or happier now? I was really happy then. I was having such a ball. It was great. I mean, for sure, I feel I'm happier now. Um, I've got two great kids, I've got a lovely family life, I've got a good health and much... I, I, I think I appreciate things more now. I was always one of those girls who was sort of thinking, oh, you know, n round the next corner something better's going to happen, round the next corner something better's going to happen now, and now I've stopped looking round corners. Right. It's, a, it's, a, right, it's yeah. a relief, you know? Yeah. It's a recipe for happiness, isn't it? Well, it is, and like you were saying about, um, you know, sort of enjoying the moment, and mm. that's what it's all about. Your really, life gets yeah. better and better, though, doesn't it, really? Because, you, yeah. you know, when you think back, how old were you? at that time when, when you were a pop star? 20-something? Well, I was 20 when I started, 20. yeah. 20. And then you're late 20s. But, I mean, that's, like, really quite young, isn't it? Same as Sunita. Yeah. And people might think, oh, you know, you kind of peak too early and you wouldn't go on, but it just well, carries I mean, on, you know, doesn't it? I mean, actually, a lot of them have gone on, because, you know, we do these 80s tours and uh, yeah, they're all still it, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's really good fun still performing, but... Uh, of course, like you say, you know, gardening has now has become a major part of my life and, and, a, and a very rich, rewarding one. Mm. Often, often disappointing. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Often. But, you know, I, you know, that's why I'm here today, talking about the Dig Your Dinner campaign, which is about getting people to think about growing things, growing their own dinner. Growing their own And veg. especially if they haven't grown... Have you grown anything, Carol? I, li you? I live in a flat! <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in a flat! I can't yeah. grow anything! Yeah. Yeah. I'm a plant murderer. Do, do you have to have, like... Experience, or well, can anyone? The whole, like, the whole idea for the campaign this this spring is to get yeah. people who met, perhaps have never grown seeds before mm -hmm. to start thinking about maybe sowing some outside in pots if you haven't got a garden, window, you know, window ledges, sills, pots. And you know, you are you encouraging go. it from a, from a health perspective that it's much healthier to know where your veg have come from, so you may as well grow it yourself? Or I, th I mean, it's it's it, there are so many uh, sort of there are so many boxes that it ticks growing your own vegetables. I mean, for me, it started when I was growing them from for my children, and I wanted them to experience uh, where food actually came from mm. rather than just picking it out of a bag in the supermarket. And then, of course, there's all the packaging and there's all those recycling issues, and so it ticks that box big time. Because right. all you have to do is go out the back of the kitchen and and harvest a few salads. Yeah. Yeah. From, from a container, and plus are full of vitamins and minerals. Am I going on? No. No. I'm going on. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you sort of get your kids into that at quite a young age? Because we were also talking about how good you are at child's play and rolling around the floor oh, with kids yeah. and stuff. So I'm, and with, that... I'm with most of you on that one. I, I, you know. No. Not into. No. Yeah. Get down. Things <laughs> 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 like housing, chucking yes. it around. I you know. Know, the, 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 most, the worst thing was when they got me at centre parts and they got me um, do, going down those awful slides. Have you ever had to do that? <laughs> Yeah. Those no, sides, no. you have Funnily to, enough, you have to you sit. Really like it. You have to sit. You have to look, and you don't know where it's going to go, and it's just this hole, and you think, oh my mm. god, what's going to happen? Whenever I get to the end of it, am I going to drown? <laughs> am I going to get stuck in the middle of it? Is some kid going to come and you know kill me? <laughs> <laughs> not really your thing, so then. I have, I have done that, but it's have not you? my thing at all. I've done it through gritted teeth. It's nice to be watched. Sorry, I'm going to jump in here because. It's nice and rewarding to uh, uh, hear a mother t talk like that. It really yeah. is. Yeah. I know there's so much guilt that pour, you know that gets poured on parents, and especially you know uh, mums. I think probably we get a lot of. Uh, Oh, you're never doing it the right you? way, are you're you? You're not doing enough of this, this you're not, not doing, doing enough, enough of that. that. You, mean you, you, you mean you don't, you know, I mean, any mother would know the bedtime story when you kind of like think, oh, there's five, eight, ten pages here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, skip I, think, forward I think I just skip through there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they all look tiny. Tiny. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about your life? Have you had life mottos or come across any good sort of philosophies in life that you've lived by or wish you had? I think certainly, um, you know, remembering that there's always someone off worse than yourself. And I mean, it's a very, it's, you know, there are some things that happen to you and you think, and you can feel yourself going into one. And I could feel myself going into one at Terminal 5 the other oh, day. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Man. I was going into one and I was just about to do some live shows and they'd lost my luggage with all my stage clothes in it. Oh, so listen, I'm so sorry, we're just about out of time. Oh, no. oh. But we can imagine how it ends. Thank oh, you so no. much, Kim Wilde. Oh.
buying a home is stressful enough from surveys.